Hello, my name is Lance Knight, and today I want to talk about ending requirements chaos with Accept Software. Well, first, what is requirements chaos? If you can't answer one of these questions, you may be in requirements chaos. Where are your requirements? Where'd they come from? Well, if you don't know, do they come from suppliers, vendors? Are they from engineers? Uh, where are they? Are they in spreadsheets, Word documents, places that you can't do metrics upon and report against? Do they align to your goals? What is your corporate goal? What are the things you're trying to accomplish with the features and so on that you put within your products? Well, let me show you how Accept Software can help you do that. Okay, now I've logged into Accept Software. The first thing you're gonna see is our dashboards. Also in here, you're gonna see the requirements that I've been working on. Now, this particular requirement is in a central repository. It's in one single source of record that I can then report upon and also do analytics based upon the different information that I've captured with this particular requirement. We call these intelligent requirements. Why is this an intelligent requirement? Because right away, you see I've broken this down. There's who's assigned to. There's what it's based upon. I have to search through the word docs, find it, none of that. It's all right here in front of me. What other points of information are relative and important to this particular requirement? Well, here's the market segments that want this in their, in their waiting. Here's the customers that want this in their waiting. Here's how well my competitors are supporting us. I can use this rich information to then prioritize this requirement. But I also need, what the, need to know what the impact of this requirement is as well. Here's the impact. This is what it's going to cost me to implement this requirement and what's going to cost my release and plan. Now I can take this rich information that I've gathered, all of this waiting, I've gathered who it's assigned to, all of this information, and now I can then take it and do analytics around it and prioritize it and make sure I'm building the right requirement to fit the need that I have and the things that my customers are asking for. How do we do that? Well, if we do some analytics on this requirement, I can look at a two by two report just like this. And what is this two by two report showing me? Well, first it's showing me there's that pipeline report requirement we we're just looking at. We see that it's really well aligned to my strategy. What is a strategy? A strategy are the things that I said were important to me weighed against those particular weightings that I showed you earlier uh, on that requirement. Resource demand and days. How long is it gonna to take to implement this? So the conclusion I can make is that this particular requirement really aligns well to my strategy has very little resource demand, truly something I want to get into my release. The bubble size is a competitive threat. Now, what I've shown you in the last few minutes are where your requirements are, who they're assigned to, uh, what's the competitive support, what customers are asking for it, all those things that you need to take yourself out of requirements chaos. To find out more, contact us at Accept Software.